Okay, so this is going to be a channel update video talking about the two projects I'm working on. So the first project is a Pebble replacement board for the Pebble Steel Watch, and the second is a LVDS um, output for the Raspberry Pi over DSi. So the first project is to replace the inside of a Pebble Watch. So, uh, specifically took the steel because it has removable uh, screws on the back. So you can take the back off and remove this board. So I wanna replace this board in here to make it um, newer hardware, essentially, on the insides. So what that looks like is something like this using a NRF52480 SOM connected to the flex cable for the charging buttons and LEDs, flash memory, that's zebra connection on the bottom, um, this really cool IMU, um, it's called an LSM6SOX by STM, and what's cool about it is it does all of the position tracking so you can know when you've lifted your arm up it will tell you via notification so this will help keep the main board in a power off state for longer and you can even train it for different scenarios so they have built-in hardware for step tracking for wrist movements for tapping and all that stuff but if you want you can train it further for other actions to be notified about uh, and then we just have in magnetometer on the bottom. So what I have is a little crummy dev board which took me a few tries to get it working right. <laughs> I'm new to assemblies and stuff like that so it's a little rough but I got a V3 that's gonna be going out soon so to fix most of the the bodges and stuff like that. I also have a board to be sent out so that at least it's in the process so I've got this and we can go to the view so we can see this is just a test um, for the specific SOM I'm using I want to make sure it's able to penetrate the metal box um, we'll see how well that goes and so basically it's just the chip plus the power management unit you hear. So, yeah. Uh, I plan to make something further about this, but that's essentially the gist of that project. Um, oh well, yeah, well I want the software, it's gonna be all Exprino. So this will allow um, people to make apps for it externally. So. Um, and the main watch, the Bengal 2, already runs the same SOM, so I'm hoping it'll be an easy port. Okay, so. The other project. So this is a hat for a Raspberry Pi, which takes a DSi signal here and then ounce puts it over LVDIS. So my thought was to this to use this as a prototype and then you can make something thinner that could fit into a laptop. So you could take your Pi 4 module or Pi 5 module and you know uh, be able to upgrade your internal computer, old computers. Uh, but the first step is getting the display working, the most crucial part. So that's where this DSI to LVDS comes in. So what we have is a 30 pin connector here and then a 40 pin out breakout here with power for the screen and then power for LEDs and stuff over here. So um, this is uh, the most generic connector that should work for a good handful of displays, but you can also just make your own pin out here so and we see that 3d view here um, 
This, yeah, so this is just a test board to see if this will actually even work at all. They make a way smaller version of this chip. This is like, you know, much larger breakout version of it. I also have one EDP. So that's on my GitHub page. So if you're interested to try it out, it's up here. Um, so both all these designs are up on my GitHub account. So the two hats, the cable, the um, steel, the the flex uh, cable that has the IC for the LEDs and the buttons, and my personal build and experience that I'm working with. Um, I also have a link down at the bottom if you're interested to have a Discord. Uh, if you want to work on any of these projects. So, yeah. That's, that's what's happened so far.